part of my Russian vacation starts now. It's our second attempt to go ride some bikes because last time my friend Tanya found a second bike. She had her own at her parents and they had the second one but it turned out that uh, the second uh, bike's tire exploded. We got into a storm, got stuck at my husband's parents' house because they were helping us with the second bike and uh, the weather got uh, uh, worse and worse so we ended up not riding a bike and today it's our second try. <laughs> As you can see, we are on the bikes, so this time... We did it, guys. Yeah, we did it, finally. Or, we are not alone. Riding towards us, hopefully they we will not, not be, be, beat us. We almost died coming from that road. Oh my god. I'm running up this hill. I'm running up this <laughs> These girls uh, have their period. Ten euros, guys. No, eleven. Eleven. Perfect. Well, I don't usually eat this stuff, but I just wanted to show that uh, you will find really lots of products, something pickled inside these jars, because it's just a common thing to do in Russia, which is super weird. Uh, these are the mushrooms, so it's not the real thing to pickle, but uh, you will find any kind of vegetable and stuff, and even fruits, uh, which is, uh, well, at least a little bit weird. This uh, shop uh, uh, is called Svetafor, and uh, it has really low prices, because you see that people do not like put everything on the shelves. Uh, everything is kept in uh, such boxes, such stuff that's why it's just less expensive so i wanted to tell you more about our like hospitals and the oh my god how it's called 
all this system how it works because well it's free basically there are some state hospitals and uh, uh, private clinics all well, private clinics are of course not uh, free but uh, the usual state hospitals they are and uh, after many 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 years in the town where I grew up they finally renovated the hospital and I've just been there and had my tooth done and it was amazing <laughs> um, since I chose this service like uh, not for free but to pay for I spent like 16 euros for one tooth to be prepared let's say yeah I really recommend you like to watch my previous walk from Russia if you're interested like because there I'm showing the town itself what got renovated and how it looked uh, before I think it's very interesting to see to see so yeah now I've got the smooth to go to every doctor like for free just to check my health for the next week so to continue with this all healthcare system i remember this name so the thing is that basically if you get sick you can get everything done for free like absolutely you don't have to wait for super long to get to the dentist to get to basically any doctor if of course you have a disease or something more serious uh and uh, you need to get um this more complicated uh, things uh, then of course it might take time and uh, you might prefer to go to a private clinic uh, because um, if you go to usual clinic there is still a risk that uh, the service will be not the best but I heard many people say that uh, it can work the same in private clinics so I think it's better if you go to a doctor by recommendation that it uh, they have already cured or tr treated somebody and uh, they are like happy with the result and stuff so it's better I think after I moved to Latvia I was like doctors no I will I will survive myself because it uh, first it was super hard to get to a doctor uh, well in Ventspils at least where I have this fun background because I'm at the well we call it like summer kitchen so it's like this uh, room in the house that is not that heated um, as the rest of the house uh, and it's cool to chill here in the summer and it's like a real kitchen you can cook here uh, you can um, have uh, your meals here and stuff but usually we have uh, all the weird things uh, stored here that's why the background is messy oh my Gynecologist. Gynecologist. So I'm seeing gynecologist ne next week. We'll also take uh, all the possible tests like blood and stuff also for free. I don't really know how, but I got out of the city into somewhere I've never been before. Here is the river somewhere there, but it's like super small and we call it the stinky river because, well, I think, well, because it stinks obviously, but most probably because people threw some rubbish away there. So it stinks. It's some kind of a village, I guess. Everything is super beautiful with this sunset light. Well, I hope no one will kill me here. I've shared my location with my husband just in case. <sighs> Interesting and very beautiful. I just went out to take some pictures of the town and I've walked here apparently yeah but I'm just super surprised that I've never been here before because I've lived in Lipki like until I was 
eating. OMG, there are dogs, okay, okay. We stay calm and they will not hurt us. Right, guys? Hopefully they have this thing that keeps them from running to me, basically. This sun is amazing. Okay, I need to get out of here faster, I guess. OMG, more dogs, more dogs, okay? I'm staying calm, I'm staying calm. I'm trying to get out of here. <sighs> the smell of fresh grass. Incredible. Is it a deer? Oh my god. It's just looking at me. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, so it wasn't... Oh, shit. So it wasn't the deer, it was the arrow. Hopefully you know what that is. I just took my time to enjoy watching it. Super beautiful. And here at the river I was talking about... It stinks and mosquitoes are killing me, literally. And it seems as if my husband's parents found their dog. Well, uh, I actually found it, but I'm not sure that it was it. Like they lost their dog, it ran away. And I randomly saw a super similar dog, uh, well, near that village where I ended up. So hopefully it is her because it was quite sad that it disappeared. So I really hope it's the dog. So we finally got to this national park. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we got to this national park. So basically, it's just uh, forest fields and all the stuff with the art objects, which is super cool. And this is just a chill zone for everyone. So we will just go and walk around. I will also tell you some facts that I've read before. and bugs are killing us, so hopefully we will survive. gives this midsummer movie vibes i haven't watched it but even without watching it like by remembering the screenshots it's like super similar in 1989 nikolai paliski it's like the artist first came to this place from moscow and decided to stay here so he painted lots of landscapes and stuff and uh, decided to make art pieces around this huge place around this national park now he invites different artists to do the same and uh, it's amazing here are two festivals that take place every year and really many people come here different events also are held so very creative space yeah, it's 
Вау, какой свет! Вау! Да, я уже увидела их снаружи. Грустно очень. Как будто бы он в темнице. Да. Сейчас лежу и ром. Что? That's creepy. А где эти штуки? Эта штука называется. Какая? Вот это? Не знаю. Непроходимая часть. Ты столько палок тут! Кайф. Вау! Храм в честь святой живо начальной троицы. Смотри. Ой, какая там река красивая. Там открыто, кстати. Я бы тоже зашла. Ой, там даже птички летают. Вау. Шикарно. Чем он не заброшенный. Вау. Вау. Блин, такие в храмы впечатляют сильнее, чем вот эти все разрисованные и отремонтированные. Ой, там тоже есть какая-то. А это типа есть маяк? Нет? Да, да. 
маяк всегда. Максим, смотри, маяк побольше, маяк поменьше. А его раньше... Давай. Блин, а, я не представляю, как ты сваешь. Нормально. Как ты будешь сваешь? Быстро? Сегодня я тебе верну. Ну, было. 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 Ну, Звездное небо. Арт кальянное, кстати. Да. Чтоб дым выходил. Ребята разбирают на такие вот Я усатая, я думаю, не могу понять. А это наш портрет? Где мой? Где мой? Самый красивый. Самый красивый. Это огненный дракон. Чуть-чуть поплыли, ребят. Чуть-чуть не из того, что было жарко. Просто. Всем привет, друзья! Привет! Гимн Липа к студию! Лучший город! На земле! Вместе Родина зовется! О, мы не спокойно! Радостно бьется! Липки! Славный городок! Ей этой ночью. Сейчас будем петь с Наташей. Пой мне. На последнем выдохе, если мы не выдержим, голос свой звучит и я жив. Решать на встречу судьбе только своим путем. Раз, два, три. how much you drink at a party or what you do at a party you are to finish this party with drinking a cup of tea and eating something sweet 